This year, you had women's marches in all 50 states to mark President Trump's first year in the White House. Are you surprised at all by the continued political activity a year later? Not at all. I, I really think that the movement in the beginning, right after Trump was elected, was really strong enough to continue now into 2018. And with the rise of the Me Too movement as well, I think that added, you know, a, a, another sense of feminism in the political spectrum and in, in mainstream media. Um, uh, Scotty, let me turn to you because this is a personal issue for you. You had your own Me Too moment. How has your own experience impacted your view of this Me Too movement with regard to politics? Well, I will be honest, and I'll say I was one of those women that remained silent because I didn't feel like I had a choice. Then when I started to tell my story, I found out there were a lot more women like me, including my own mother. And then knowing that I had a daughter, whether you're Republican or Democrat, this should not be a political issue. And we need to celebrate the women that are running for office that are Republicans as well, um, that are women as well as the Democrats. There's lots of great opportunities for us to work together. And finally, we have a simple platform that we should all agree on, that what has been going on over the last generation can stop now, and it stops with us. It really does come down to, even though we're in, a, in this beautiful historic moment of women's empowerment, a lot of women of color are getting left at the margins yet again. And I think that this is an important moment for us to course correct history and make sure that no woman is left behind um, and that really liberation means for all of us.